Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. Now, in this video we're going to go ahead and actually show you how to build a small little snowmobile here in Stormworks. We'll go over all the components as always along with the logic, how to get it all piped up and finally we'll go and actually test it out in the world of Stormworks. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and let me know what else you'd like to see in any of my future videos. While you're there, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and really click the little bell icon to be notified any of my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So that all said, let's get straight into building the snowmobile. So we're back here in the workbench. Now the first thing we need to do is obviously to add in a chair. The chair is going to be to actually control the snowmobile itself. Now as you can see here, I'm just going to head and place one down right over here and then lastly just deleting the block underneath it. Now. The next thing we need to go and actually do is build up the front section of the snowmobile. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, this is not going to look anything fancy. However, it's just going to show you what you need to go ahead and actually get connected. And then from there, you guys can obviously get some inspiration and then obviously modify it to how you want. Now, I'm just building up a small little frame, enabling my X-plane on either side. And this is going to be where we can obviously go and drop down our actual pieces of skis. Now, you can see here, I'm just going to do that. And let's see how that looks by putting down the skis. If I can find them just over here, great. I'm gonna hit put them down and you can see that's already too high. So I'm just gonna go and delete one block up there. And you can see now we've got the skis on there from either side. I said, you guys can make it look a little prettier if you want to just by doing a couple different things and adding things across where you want to. Now, what we can do is actually spawn this in directly straight away see how it looks so you can see obviously the springs are doing something already but as far as sitting on there see can we actually know it springs are too tough so what we need to go ahead and do now is just make sure the springs are a little bit weaker so just for the purpose of building this i'm going to bring it down to about 10 percent strength of the springs just to see how that looks in its height so brought it down 10 percent strength and those are the springs of the skis. So you can kind of see they're quite strong already, um, but that's fine. We still obviously need to add our weights and our batteries and so on and so forth in the back of the snowmobile. But as far as the front section, that's pretty much about it for the front section. Now, the next component that we're obviously going to need is some type of battery. Now, once again, you can obviously decide on how you want to put this in here. Um, I'm just going to do a simple up figure like this and then we're going to hide the actual battery underneath here now for the purpose of this video i'm just going to be using one battery uh, obviously you guys can use as many as you want or as little as you want and make this as big or as small as you want but once again i'm going to try and make it as small as possible for the purpose of this video so you can see here we've gone ahead and actually added that on if we wanted to make it one block like this and just go and turn it we could also do that uh, it's up to you guys on what on exactly how you want to do it we're just going to leave it like this for now now the next thing we need to do is obviously add some way to obviously get some thrust now the thrust is going to obviously come from an actual wheel and that's what we're going to be using so i'm just going to go ahead once again just keep on building this frame so i'm going to do probably about to there uh, and you can see that's where my frame is going to be and it's going to end on the back here the next part we need to do is actually add the wheel in now i'm going to go and extend this frame just a little bit more out delete these center pieces over here like so and then work from the inside out so let's go ahead and grab our wheel uh, it's just going to be up to the top here i'm going to try and take the smallest one that we can so let's see here medium wheel and small wheel we're going to use the small wheel i'm just going to place it at the back here so let's go ahead and drop it down Make sure you have your direction arrows on so you're obviously facing it the right direction so you can see that we have faced it in the right way and that's perfect obviously it hasn't placed one on the other side because it can't fit one on the other side and that's great we can work from that the next thing is obviously we need to go ahead and actually power this now if we were to use a engine it would take up quite a lot of space so i don't recommend using an engine uh, but what it's up to you i'm just going to be using some electric engines along with that is also going to be some gearboxes and some other things but let's go and actually just quickly spawn this in guys and see how it looks in game so you can see here our snowmobile signs come along if we wanted to we could probably make this a little bit higher in the front here it is starting to get a little bit low but you kind of guys are getting the idea of it at the moment when we jump into this pilot seat you can see that our snowmobile is coming along so as i said the next piece we need to go ahead and do is start adding our motors in here now for the purpose of the story once again i'm just going to go and actually just put a empty block here and then put an enclosed pipe now you can see here going to grab our straight pipe just put it straight onto here 
that way we can have all our components in the center along with that i'm just going to go and put some pipes here and the pipes are just going to be for decor so we don't have to have once again our engines or our gearboxes on the outside so you can see here we've got our pipes it's done on both sides so it's obviously symmetrical which i like now the next thing as i said earlier is we need to start adding in our gearboxes and so on and so forth so gearboxes are there just to obviously speed up the actual engines a bit um, obviously the electrical engines aren't the strongest of things uh, so hence the reason why we're adding these gearboxes now you want to do it so you have the arrows facing the electric engine so you can see here it's now facing towards there and what we're going to do is go ahead and grab a small electric engine so there we are grab that we can go ahead and do and place it directly onto the gearbox that simple that easy guys while we're there, the last couple of things we need to configure is going to be obviously our gearbox, make sure it's on a one to three ratio. Along with that is we need to come into our pilot seat and just make sure all our settings are correct that we want to. Springs can stay the same for now. Uh, obviously you can adjust them as you feel fit uh, and make them higher or low depending on if your vehicle is heavier or too light. Uh, you can obviously clean up this area along here, make it look a little prettier if you want to. But once again, for the purpose of this video, guys, I'm just going to leave it quite standard. I'll let you guys come up with the ideas of how to customize this and make it look better at the end of the day. As far as actual controls go, um, pretty easy. All you need to actually do is, once again, is one, if you want to go ahead and actually add some brakes on, you can do that. If you wanted to change gears, you could obviously link that up there. However, I'm not going to do any gearboxes for this tutorial. Next thing we want to do is obviously connect over our A and D, and this is going to be to turn the vehicle. So that's going to go to our steering and our actual um, skis themselves. And then lastly, we want to connect our WMS to go forward into our electrical engine itself. Last thing, don't forget about electricity. Make sure you just go ahead and connect your battery over to your gearbox, your engine, and also your skis. And that's pretty much about it, guys. Um, very basic in terms of the components. Uh, you can go ahead and actually just spawn this in now. You can see here, it's sitting okay. Uh, we could obviously make this a little bit higher in the front or use bigger skis, low, smaller skis, it's up to you. But you can kind of see if we turn left, it's turning left. If we turn right, it's turning left. You guys can adjust the settings if you want to turn quicker or slower. Uh, and then we start moving forward and you can see obviously the wheels are turning at the back. It does go quite fast. Um, I have to say the reason why it's going quite fast guys is because obviously we have got that gearbox added on. You guys can see we can turn it now. It is obviously connecting with a couple things at the bottom. So you might want to make it a little bit higher in the front, but you can kind of get the idea of it. Um, you can make it more stable, make it a bit wider. It's up to you guys, but this is the basics in terms of what you need components wise. Uh, this battery also should last quite a long time. Uh, obviously you can hide some more batteries wherever you want to, uh, anywhere in the actual vehicle. And you can see as we go along here, it has no problem it's obviously hitting a couple of bumps here and there but in terms of actually driving um it works quite well you can see here going along um as i said get more customizable make the springs stronger uh, make them a little bit weaker it's up to you at the end of the day see i had a little bit of an accident there so i need to go ahead and respawn this guys make a couple of modifications as i said um probably wanted to go ahead and do is probably get these skis one maybe one wider uh, along with that is also probably make it one deeper uh, just to make it a little bit more stable here guys so I'm just gonna do that right now for, let's see how, how how much better it's going to be if we do that and that'll kind of give us an indication we can also get rid of any extra pieces that we don't need anymore and add any extra custom pieces along with that don't forget to obviously hit up the connections of anything that you have gone and disconnected so we'll go ahead and do that and connect it there and spawn it in again now you can go and you can see because we haven't adjusted the actual ski springs they've all gone and actually built up there in the front so we just need to go ahead and actually make sure that we drop the settings there probably about 10 percent as i said uh, it's up to you at the end of the day play with it see what works for you if you start putting batteries in the front uh, it might get a little bit too heavy in the front so you need to increase the springs but you can see here now much more stable in terms of what it was before yeah just play around with it guys um but yeah that's pretty much about it for this tutorial um quite nice easy quick one guys um just if you guys were wondering how to build a snowmobile in stormworks uh, it does also handle quite well on off-road uh, on snow itself as you guys can see here unless you actually go ahead and flip it over like me uh, because I'm being a little bit careless uh, if you did do that uh, make sure you put some handles underneath it that way you can actually just drag it and turn it over uh, instead of actually respawning it or trying to push it like I am trying to do at the current point in time where it's probably going to end up in the ocean so I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there guys thank you very much for watching 
I hope you enjoyed it and found it somewhat entertaining and informative as always and we'll see you in the next one.